when we're doing putting and, and, and we're marking more specific um, things as you putt and why I want to know where the ball enters the hole is just to be as specific as possible. For me, it's, there's a lot of research and it's very clear that the amount of time you spend in deliberate practice is what actually counts. Now, deliberate you could define in different ways. To me, it's deep practice. That's um, You're very specific with what you're trying to do and you have specific feedback. That's deep practice for me. That's a, There's a purpose behind every single rep, not just hitting it. So I would take that to the next level and say, hey, I want to have as much feedback as humanly possible. If you're hitting a putt, I want to know, did it start online? Was the speed good? And how was the green ring? I want to know those three, your aim points. But then I also want to know, where do you want the ball to go in the hole? Do you want it to go in the middle? And everyone assumes middle, maybe that's right, maybe it's not. Well, you want to go in left, left edge, left center. And how does that match the speed you work? Then you're really thinking through what you're doing. And what ends up happening typically is something cool, which mimics a lot of great athletes in other sports. I've heard a lot of stories about Steph Curry, right, the best shooter in the NBA maybe ever, where he wouldn't leave until he, he made 20 free throws in a row without hitting the rim, like swish 20 in a row. Or Larry Bird, before he would go to sleep at night, would have to swish a certain amount of shots in a row. That's the level of specific. If you get to the point where you're making a basketball shot and it goes in, but it's not what you want, you're gonna be pretty freaking good at it. And same thing with putting. If you could dictate what side of the hole the ball goes on, and, and you wanna go left center, it goes in right center, nope, not good enough. I mean, how good are you gonna get? That's the level of deep practice, deliberate, that adds up over time. It's just hard to do because you have to be super deliberate. That's not easy to do, but in my opinion, I would rather you do way less reps and live in that space, you'll get much, much, much better that way. All right, let's do kind of 10 of them. You kind of go through like you normally would. I'm not even gonna put the balls in for you. You're gonna be responsible for everything. Uh, short putting, like this is the part now where I wanna look at that and be able to say, hey, what'd you get on the three, four, five circles? What'd you do on the star? Yeah. How has that been going? Uh, typically on the star, I've been averaging, I would say 10, so not bad. Like the past like week and a half, I haven't been doing as well on it for some reason. Any any noticing any tendencies in terms of left and right? I notice a tendency, and I miss putts that break from left to right more often than putts that break right to left. The ones you miss left to right, do you miss? I miss putt? low. Miss low. Yeah. Miss read, miss speed. I think it's more Push. a speed issue. Okay. I think it's a common a combination of not the right line and not the right speed. Double whammy. Yeah. How much of a chance does that have to go in? Not, Not much. Not much. Okay. Now what I want to do is <clears throat> let's get a little bit more specific and let's look at these left to right putts first. So probably let's do from one spot and then let's go for multiple spots. Let's do here first. Okay. Now I want to do three different putts from here. So toss that on the ball out of there. And I want you to put this a foot in front to mark your start line. And then I want the aim point and then entry. And we're going to do slow pace on the first one, medium pace, and then fast okay. pace. All right. So the first one's slow pace. Slow so mark your, why don't you mark your entry first? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mark your aim point and entry. At the like slow so, pace. like just like front edge of the hole. Yeah, this is like not getting to the back, not getting to the back of the hole. Full routine? Full routine. Cool. Let's see the question. Put shit together. <laughs> Break. So, break that one down for me. What happened there? I thought it would. I think I hit it too hard. Maybe. Okay. Didn't break as much as I thought. What would you adjust? Probably where I started it, because I thought that was good speed. You would. You would. You would start it more to the right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. If you're going and practicing and you're not making the left to right putts, or you're finding out that they're you're having issues with that, what would you do? How would you specify your practice for more feedback? How would I specify my practice for? How would you find out what you're doing to miss those putts, and how would you practice to get better at it? Hit more putts that break that way. Yeah, hit, hit. You're doing it right now. Yeah. Okay. You you would do what? 
what are the things that you could? I would you, pick out a start line and where I wanted to enter the hole, and put something so yeah. I know I'm starting the ball in line. When you do the aim point with the tees, yeah. right? If you miss a short distance pot, you either didn't start it on line, mm -hmm. right? You picked the wrong aim point, or your or, speed was bad, yeah, or a combination of them, yeah. So those three elements that you have to have, how would you practice them? Well. You'd put a thing in front for start line. Yeah. You'd put the aim, the stick behind the thing for the speed, and you'd mark an aim point and an entry. Yeah. So you have feedback on all three of them. Yeah. And if you go around and do your aim point, you should, what you should be doing when you go outside, mm -hmm. you do your block, you do your three foot circle, and then you do this. If you're struggling with the left right, do more of them. Yeah. Take some of the right to left ones out. Yeah. Or do more of these, and then go three, four, five, and do maybe maybe do do two of them. Well, I was thinking you could do this drill like as a star drill, really. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I still want you to do a star drill. We talked about this before. Well, right? I do the star drill first. I do the star drill as a game. Right, exactly. You know what yep. I mean? Which I, I mean, still want you to do. Yeah. I, I think that basically what we're doing the aim point with T's portion of practice is what yeah. this is. So yeah. that do that. That would just do more of it if you need So this to. is another way to work on start line and speed. This is everything. Yeah. And yeah, all of it. You, you're doing the aim point drill. You're just adding in the start line. Now, for this to start on that penny line and die in on that dime line, mm -hmm. it's going to have to be pretty, it's going to have to die in. Pretty slow. Yeah. yeah. Which is difficult for me. No one ever said it's going to be easy. Cool. Yeah, so, so what happened there? Ball started on the penny. Yeah. Went in left center. Yeah. Right? So... It, on that line at that speed, which that was good dying speed. It's not going to break that much. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to enter the middle of the hole. It can enter left center like that, right? Yeah. That's okay. I guess for me, like the way that I think, I think every putt should enter the middle of the hole. But yeah. I guess that's not right. There's different schools of thought on it. I think if you're looking to have a ball, I would say your stock putt like this, whatever side it's breaking on, yeah. you would kind of want it to go in. On this half of the hole. Yeah. Yeah, because you have the most hole there. Yeah. Margin of error. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So let's go medium now. So this would be pace that would go up to about a foot, a little over a foot past. That aim thing's too far left. Too Your far left? Too far. You, like, yeah, like that's not to the penny. Yeah. I guess for me, like when I want it to go in the middle of the hole, it's because if I if I pull it, it has no chance to go in. Then. It's also because you traditionally hit these putts like an idiot with yeah. like speed that goes nine feet by, <laughs> so it only can go in the middle of the hole, <laughs> right? That's another thing. Yeah, true. But this is the kind of stuff when you practice. Put that ball on there. Let's see if it's lined up good. Where I would rather you get this specific, take your time, go through it this thoroughly, and hit less putts than just than rail a hundred of them with no feedback. Uh, yeah. I did that for how many, how many years we've been doing that? Don't work. Yeah, right? Especially not on the short ones. That ain't working. So we're going to go straight line from here to there, right? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Medium speed. So. Okay, what happened on that one? Uh, it didn't, well, it started where I wanted. I think I pushed it maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think you pushed it a little bit, broke yeah. about the amount you wanted right yeah. center of the hole. And this is where, too, like, this is what I'm telling everyone when we do this is, like, you're making these pots, cool, but, but like, like, yeah. Get more, get super specific where, where you want the ball to go in a certain part of the hole and then you're, you're not accomplishing your goal and they're still going in. You're shifting your goal to smaller making, aim. Yeah, yeah, from making the pot to something super specific. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, now fast speed. This is the normal coal. More towards like here. <clears throat> this is the coal of old. That's left there, my friend. So straight line here from there should go right down the middle of that thing, right? Okay, and I yeah. only want it a foot in front. Because if, if you put it here, what's the problem with that? It's going to be breaking 
the whole way, right? Yeah. It's got to be close enough where it's just the start line. Just like a foot in front. Yeah, no more than that. Yeah. It's a little over a foot. Good. Now, that wasn't fast pace. Yeah, not yeah. super fast. Yeah, no, it wasn't even, wasn't even kind of fast. <laughs> this stick back here that I put, right, is like two and a half feet. I want you to hit it with pace that it would end up like at this. Okay, so. I like now that I have to have you hitting them harder. <laughs> I, that thing changed. I do with this stick really. Helps a lot, oh, the four my. inches behind. Yeah. Yeah. This is also like not a lot of people are gonna put the time in to like do this thorough, but it's 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 this is how it should be. Okay, that was yanked. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. starting to learn that like if I hit it softer, it's more room for air. If I pull it or push it. Yeah, there's no doubt. But I want you to be able to hit it in at all paces. Yeah. I think I'm going to start putting a line on the ball too, just for like more feedback. I'm okay with the line on the ball so it doesn't cause more problems than it solves. Meaning what? Like you've got to reline it four or five times. I get too like picky about it? Yeah. Okay. Still pushed it. Now, we, th there are some pushes and pulls, right? Yeah. There are some little mechanical things, so I want to have a conversation about that. I want to see. This I think is pretty, do you, this is pretty simple? Yeah, I can do this. Right? So like, when we allot your practice time at the end, you do that for a specified number, yeah. you do the three, four, five circle, keep a score for those, not doing this, just, yeah. just how many are you making, because that's where we're at, mm -hmm. and then you do this with the aim point with the T's, add in the start mm -hmm. line, get super specific. Yeah. With me? Yeah, definitely.